The Fort That Jack Built by Bonnie Ashburn, illustrated by Brett Hellcrist. This is Jack. This is a table and two comfy chairs. A big stack of pillows that came from upstairs. A breakfast bar stool, an armload of books, a green shower curtain with twelve purple hooks, a dog leash, striped sheets, and a huge batch work quilt. And this is the fort that Jack built. And this is Jack's dog. No, my no. Woof. Wag. Who almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's sister. Hey, who took my chair? She yanks it away, creating a sag. Right after the dog woofed with a wag and almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's brother. My books give them back. He grabs the whole stack, which opens a crack right next to the spot where the chair was now not. By the worsening sag made by Jack's dog, who woofed with a wag and almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's sister, the older one, wet, wrapped up in a towel. I wasn't done yet. She takes back the curtain with every last hook, right after Jack's brother took every last book. So now there's a gap and a crack in a sag made by Jack's dog. Who woofed with the wag and almost collapsed the fort that Jack built? This is Jack's mother. I'm making beds, Jack. Who needs the striped sheets and the pillows stacked back? Without sheets or pillows, the curtain, books, chair, Jack's fort's not the same as it was under there. New holes, gabs, and cracks, and way too much sag made by Jack's dog who woofed with the wag. And almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's dad. I need my chair, Jack, and your fort. I can't see. I can't see the TV. There goes the last chair, and the whole northern side, and the holes, and the gabs, and the cracks much too wide, and the sag from the dog who woofed with the wag and almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's mother, her mug in her hand. Now done with the beds, not willing to stand. She slips out the stool and says, "See, it's still fine." It isn't, thinks Jack, but at least it's still mine. And the cracks are all gone, and so is the sag made by the dog who woofed with a wag and almost collapsed the fort that Jack built. This is Jack's grandma. Hey, buddy, what's new? I think that I'm feeling a bit cold. Are you too? That does it. Poor Jack. He can't take the guilt. He takes down the last of his fault. Grandma's quilt. There are no more cracks or gabs or big sags. No dripping wet curtains or dog woofs or wags. We're almost collapsing a fort made by Jack. The only thing left is a small coffee table, and that is the end of our fort-building fable. Except, here's a hint: if you're something like Jack and you use people's things that they'll likely want back, they might be more willing, or at least might not care. If you use all their things but are willing to share.